So we have now calculated all the values that we wanted to present on our screen right beside our profit and loss statement and we are now going to compile all of them on our dashboard. Of course, we are not yet ready to fully complete our dashboard. We will be just compiling these basic values on one sheet. Once we have prepared more visuals and more analytics, we will prepare our dashboard as well, which will look like this. So you can see we have beautiful analytics and visuals that are available. But of course, it will take us some time to reach there. So let us go back to our own file and let us start working on compiling the basic values in these the, the values that we have just calculated in this style. So back to my file. First of all, I want to uh, place this sheet here, the Ibtida sheet here before operating profit. And now I have a logical flow of values from p l to cross profit, Ibtida, operating profit, PBIT and net profit. Now to compile all of them onto one screen, I will have to use the dashboard that is available here. I will click on this icon and you can see that I have this dashboard now. The first thing that I want to do is that I want to use this complete sheet so you can see that half of the sheet has been made inactive. To make this dashboard full screen, I will click on this drop down that we can see in this uh, size tab. And now in this range drop down, I will click here and I will click on automatic. And now we have the full screen dashboard. The next thing that I want is I want to bring in my values, all of these values onto my dashboard. For that, you will right click on the sheet and I will click on add to dashboard and your profit and loss will be added to your to your dashboard very quickly. I will just make it full screen. Uh, I mean, I will just increase the size as needed. And now this is making a decent sense. I will change the placement of the country filter here. You can remove it all the way as well and we can bring it back as in one needed. And now I will scroll it down towards the end. I'm just designing it in the way I have just shown you uh, just a moment ago. And now I will also like to bring in all the values of gross profit. Let us click here and click on add to dashboard. Let us drag it down towards this side and let us also reduce the size of this visual. Now let us click on Ibtida, add to dashboard and now let us drag this value here. If you are not able to find this dragging option, you will have to go here on the layout and click on floating and then you will be able to drag this, uh, these visuals as well. So let me reduce the size of Ibtida as well and let me place it nicely beside the gross profit. And after that, let me now move to the next value that is going to be, uh, you know, the operating profit let me click here click on add to dashboard drag it on the side and then let us reduce the size of this visual as well let us move to the next value that is pbit click here add to dashboard and then take it to the corner i'm sorry control z and now let us drag it on the side reduce the size of this visual Again, we can further reduce it and place it nicely on this dashboard. And finally, let us talk about net profit. Again, the same thing, click on add to dashboard, reduce the size of this visual as needed and drag it down towards the end on the dashboard. Now we just need to, you know, little bit change the placement so that we can fit in the net profit as well on the same dashboard we can do that very quickly after that we can uh, you know move to the pbit part and finally let us place net profit as well so this might be a little time consuming but eventually we can do that uh, just undo and do it again okay so now that we have done this placement nicely we are ready to move to the next step and rather than moving to all those different visuals and you know preparing the complete dashboard i will stop here for a moment and i will calculate all of these values like cross profit ibtida operating profit pbit and net profit i will calculate these values using a formula 
using the formula language of tableau and that is because when we will you know try to present these values on visuals and we would like to perform the calculations like gross profit margin net profit margin or any other ratios we will need to know that formula language so rather than you know jumping straight away to the ratios i will first calculate these values because the business logic the data structure is quite clear for these values now and we can quickly we can uh, you know straightforward focus on the formula language so let us start that from the next lecture